Most states have only one or two river basins, but Texas has 15 major river basins and seven major bays. Texas also has over 3,700 named streams. All the streams and rivers combined flow over 191,000 miles through Texas. The Red River forms the border between Texas and neighboring states to the north, while the Sabine River forms our border with Louisiana to the east. The Rio Grande forms our border with Mexico in the south and west and is the second longest river in the United States. All Texas rivers eventually flow to the Gulf of Mexico. As several of our major rivers near the Gulf of Mexico, they combine into coastal basins and form Texas's major bays and estuaries. Your watershed is the watershed, subwatershed, sub sub watershed, etc., in which you live. It tells which lake, stream, or wetland collects the water that falls on your home. At the top of the watershed is the land known as the headwaters. This is the high ground where precipitation first collects, or it can be a spring from which a stream originates. From the headwaters, water flows downhill and eventually forms a permanent channel. Once a channel is formed, it's called a stream. Small streams combine to form larger streams. The north mouth of a stream, rather, is the place where it empties into a larger body of water. A permanent or perennial stream is one that has flowing water in it all year long. In the Texas Hill Country and other dry parts of the state, many streams only flow for part of the year, although water may be flowing just below the ground beneath the dry stream bed. Such streams are called intermittent or ephemeral streams.